In question 16, we're being told that the fruit stem is made by removing a small cone from a large cone, and the cones are mathematically similar. And given that the radius is r and the height is h of the big cone, and the fact that the volume of the fruit stem to the volume of the large cone is 98 over 125, then we need to find an expression in terms of h for the height of the fruit stem. So, I will start by observing that the volume of the frustum is simply the volume of the large cone minus the volume of the small cone. So it might be better to work with the cone because they are mathematically similar and I could actually draw a triangle within the large cone to extract all the necessary information. So we've got the height to be small h and the radius to be small r. And we could call maybe the radius of the small cone capital R and the height of the small cone capital H. Now, instead of considering the ratio of the volume of the frustum to the large cone, I would just say that the volume of the small cone over the volume of the large cone is simply the volume of the frustum, sorry, the volume of the cone, this, the large cone, minus the volume of the frustum over the volume of the large cone. And this is the volume of the large over the volume of the large, which is simply 1, minus the volume of the first room over the volume of the large cone, which is 1 minus 98 over 125, which is giving me an answer of 27 over 125 which I have to realize that this is 3 over 5 to the power of 3. And suddenly things start to click into place because we do know that for similar shapes, we've got that if the length gets multiplied by k, the volume gets multiplied by k cubed. So we've got the small cone, we've got the big cone, the large cone, okay. we've got the large cone, and if the length gets multiplied by k, the volume will be multiplied by k cubed. Now, from what we have seen here, the volume of the small is 3 over 5 cubed times the volume of the large, or better, the volume of the large is 5 over 3 cubed, the volume of the small. So we just realized out of this that to go from the small to the large, I multiply by 5 over 3 cubed. So k cubed is 5 over 3 cubed. So k must be 5 over 3. That's the scale factor for the length. Now, the question is asking for an expression in terms of h for the height of the frustum. Now, the height of the frustum here is simply the small h minus the capital H. So, the height of the frustum is just small h minus capital H. Now, we know that the height of the small cone is capital H and the height of the large cone is small h. So we know that h is 5 over 3 capital H or simply that capital H is 3 over 5 small h. So we've got a relationship between the height of the small cone and the height of the big cone. So what I will do here is simply replace 
the capital H with 3 over 5 H and this will give me 2 over 5 H which is the required answer 2 over 5 H mm -hmm.